We're here in the Inside Out Sports and Entertainment Headquarters in New York. Harry Chickma here alongside Jim Currier, the Tennis Hall of Famer. So much to talk about with Jim, including your Inside Out Tour, new venues, uh, a lot of great players. Talk about what you have going on in 2012. Right, well, the 2012 series will be our second year, Harry, playing um, in primarily indoor venues in these one-night tournaments with four great players playing for the title each night. Um, we're renaming the tour this year the Power Shares Series. It was the champion series in the past, we have a new title sponsor, Power Shares Triple Q. So uh, the tour, the umbrella sponsor is now Power Shares. So it's Power Shares Series, and we'll be playing a little bit later this season. Last year we started in, in mid-September, and this year we're going to start about a month later. And, and um, pretty soon, right after Wimbledon, we're going to be announcing the the full roster of the 12 events with the dates, the venues, the players that will be playing. But we're uh, we're in heavy grind mode right now, getting everything set for uh, our launch date to get everything ready to go for a big fall season of PowerShare Series Tennis. And such a great vibe right now in American tennis. The Davis Cup is on fire. You, of course, leading the team right now as the head honcho. I mean, everyone's talked about how American tennis is back. John Isner is playing well. Marty Fish, Roddick took down Federer. John Isner did on clay. So tell me about your team. Well, the team this year has is, is really been riding largely. Uh, oh, we had Marty and, and John both play uh, excellent tennis in Switzerland. And Marty picking up uh, two points for us with the doubles as well with Mike Bryan. So he really was uh, uh, doing some big work there. But, the, you know, John's upset win over, over Federer was definitely uh, kind of the talking point, I think, of the weekend. And, uh, and I think it, it showed John uh, that he's capable of, of dominating anyone if he plays the way that he should play. And, and he's carried that on into the next Davis Cup round where Marty was unable to join us. Ryan Harrison stepped in for him. And John and the Bryan brothers really went out there and got it done. And John um, took care of, of two terrific tennis players, Gilles Simone and Joe Wilfried Sanga, and was never really in danger of losing either of those matches. And then Bob and Mike Bryan are the world's best, and they prove it time and time again in Davis Cup. And then we got some valuable experience for Ryan Harrison, and he's going to be a factor for us as well. So coming down the line for us, Harry, we have uh, the semifinals after the U.S. Open, so we get a bit of a break. But we have to travel once again, our third road trip in a row, uh, over to Europe. We'll be playing in Spain, which is really the ultimate test right now in, in Davis Cup tennis. They're the deepest team, toughest team. They have an incredible home record, so they beat us last year. Uh, but we'll, we'll come firing. We're going to take our chances, and we'll see what happens. But it's been a pretty fun year so far because we've won two matches that uh, on paper we shouldn't have. Well, John Isner almost beat Rafael Nadal last year at the French Open. It was five sets, and he beat Novak Djokovic in Indian Wells. He beat Federer on clay, as we mentioned. Do you think he could win a Grand Slam? I definitely do think John's, uh, John's one of a couple of people outside of the, the top three or four that I think could realistically go through and win one. I think he still has some work to do. Uh, I know he's in Tampa right now as we sit here um, working on that, trying to get a little bit stronger, a little bit fitter. This is going to be an interesting rest of this, uh, this kind of season between the clay and the Davis Cup semifinals with so many big events. You know, there are three majors plus the Olympics, which is really a de facto fifth major. So uh, there's a lot riding on what's going on here in the next little bit. I'll, I'll, I'll hope to see John take his game up another gear. And who knows, Harry, we may even get a picture of you and, uh, you and me up there. That would be phenomenal. That's the dream come true. Power Share Series Tennis with Jim Currier. Can't beat it. We're making dreams come true right here. That's what we do. New York City, City of Dreams. Harry Chickman with Jim Currier, the co-founder of Power Share Series Tennis.